Hello everyone, my name is Alice. I'm the MCAI. First of all, Alice would like to wish everyone the best. It's a pleasure to meet everyone. I am going to talk today about interesting facts about Christmas Day you may not know. 1. Christmas Date 2. Why does Santa Claus have his own postal code? 3. Who is Santa Claus? 4. What anecdote about hanging socks? 5. Santa's reindeer 6. Termed Christmas 7. Why is Santa Claus dressed in red? 8. Origin of the Christmas tree tradition 9. Jingle Bells a Christmas Song? Now let's get to the main content. 1. Christmas Date Christmas commemorates the birth of Jesus Christ, but the precise date has been lost to history. The Bible makes no mention of December 25th, and many historians believe Jesus was born in the spring. According to some historians, the date was chosen because it coincided with the pagan celebration of Saturnalia, which celebrated and gave gifts to the agricultural deity Saturn. 2. Why does Santa Claus have his own postal code? Santa has his own Canadian postal code. Santa Claus is a person who always receives a lot of love from people and especially children. Every year the number of letters sent to this man is countless. Every year, letters to Santa Claus flood post offices across the world, cementing their reputation as some of the nicest people ever. Some big, hearted Canadian post office workers started writing back. As the program took off, they set up a special postal code for Santa as part of a Santa letter writing program initiative. H-O-H-O-H-O. Three. Who is Santa Claus? Saint. Nick was generous. The idea of Santa Claus came from Saint. Nicholas. The saint wasn't really a bearded man who wore a red suit. That look came much later. In the 4th century, the Christian bishop gave away his large inheritance to the poor and rescued women from servitude. In Dutch, his name is Sinterklaas, which later morphed into Santa Claus in English. 4. What anecdote about hanging socks? Legend has it, we hang stockings by the chimney with care thanks to a poor man who didn't have enough money for his three daughters' dowries. Generous old saint. Nick dropped a bag of gold down their chimney one night after the girls had hung their freshly washed stockings there to dry. That's where the gold ended up, and the tradition continued. 5. Santa's Reindeer Rudolph, the red, nosed reindeer who pulls Santa's sledges on Christmas Eve, is certainly familiar to you and your children. Rudolph couldn't possibly pull Santa's sled by himself. It's brimming with gifts for every nice youngster on the planet, and Rudolph can't do it all by himself. Santa's ninth reindeer is Rudolph, the red, nosed reindeer. He is aided by an additional eight reindeer. Cupid, Dancer, Vixen, Dunder, Comet, Dasher, Prancer, and Blixum are the eight reindeer. 6. Term Christmas the term of Christmas was first used in the 16th century. The letter X in the word Christmas stems from ancient Greek. Christ begins with the letter X in Greek. As a result, Christmas stands for Christmas. 7. Why is Santa Claus dressed in red? Early depictions show Santa Claus in yellow, green, even stars and stripes. So why do we always see jolly old Saint Nick dressed in red? When did Santa become dressed red? There are a number of popular depictions of Santa wearing red in the 19th century. The image of a white, bearded, red-suited man was used in advertising campaigns including for the U.S. confection company's Sugar Plums and on the cover of humor magazine Puck. An 1881 illustration by Thomas Nast Merry Old Santa, featured a plump man in a red suit, with a pipe and a rosy complexion. The 1930s coca, 
Cola began to use the red image of Santa on advertising in the 1930s, when the company hired artist Haddon Sunbloom to create a character of Santa Claus for use in festive campaigns. The idea was to ensure people continued to drink Coke during the winter months, as the drink was associated with warm, summer days. The red suit was a convenient feature of the character as it matched the advertising colors of the company. 8. Origin of the Christmas Tree Tradition According to legend, Saint Boniface was so taken with the beauty of snow-covered evergreens in the moonlight that he brought a tree into his home and decorated it with candles in honor of Jesus' birth. This appears to be the origin of today's Christmas tree tradition. 9. Jingle Bells A Christmas Song? Jingle Bells is not really a Christmas song at all. What's more, there's another whole verse which we all ignore, in a bid to make it sound more Christmassy. Jingle Bells was written by American composer James Pierpoint in 1857, and is actually about Thanksgiving. It was originally called One Horse Open Sleigh and none of the lyrics actually relate to Christmas. Please press the subscribe button, one like, click the bell and press choose the vibrating bell to receive notifications of new videos. If you find the video interesting, press the share button to let more people know. Comment your opinion below. Sincerely thank you for your listening. Wish everyone the best. Good. Bye. Everyone.